Hello, I'm Sifu Curtis Fujita with Tiger Crane Kung Fu. Uh, I'm making this video, as most of you have heard, we're closing down the studio for a week given the current health epidemic. So I'm making this video for our students, uh, family members of our school, and just for anybody that's interested in kind of learning a little bit more about what we do. Uh, this video is for you. You feel free to follow along. It's an exercise that you can do at home during this whole situation, okay? Um, for our students, follow along. Some of you have learned this. You'll recognize this if you have from the Tiger Crane form. Some of you may have already learned it. Some of you may have not, but just follow along. Um, the exercise concerns the Q Sao gesture, which is this hand gesture here. And the way you formulate it is you make like the number five, squeeze your fingers. This is what we call the tiger claw. You'll be using this and extend the index finger for the Q Sao or bridge hand. So feel free to follow along and I hope you enjoy. Keeping your fists tight, you're going to be standing with your feet together. Bring your arms in, over, in. Then you're going to adopt the position we call the horse stance. Put your feet together and open them up at 45 degree angles. Toes to heels, heels to toes, toes to heels, heels to toes, and then straighten them out. Adopt the tiger claw position, both arms extended. Raise the index fingers. You're going to breathe in deeply with your arms relaxed, and then exhale. At the same time, you're gonna forcefully tense the muscles from your forearms down to your fingertips out. And then repeat, inhale, bring the arms in. Exhale, tension as you push out. Inhale again, relaxed, exhale with tension. Then go ahead with both arm extended, turn to the left, come to the center, Pulling the arms in, retracting the index finger, and pushing the tiger claw formation outwards. And then doing the same thing on the right, turning to the right. Both hands extended in the q sao position. Turning back to the center, retracting, and again, releasing a subsequent tiger claw strike. Let's watch it again now in full speed. This is an excellent exercise that develops leg strength, arm strength, breath, and coordination. Okay, so as you saw, it's a great exercise. It involves isometric exercises. You don't really take much space. You can do it inside your house. I hope you enjoy doing it. Just a couple other notes if you'd like to learn more about the q Sao technique. Uh, we actually, I actually, have an article in the latest issue of Kung Fu Tai Chi magazine. Uh, you can buy it in stores or if you want to stay at home, you can get it through the Zinio app. And uh, I'll supply a link in the comments uh, section of this video so you can always look for it there. Kung Fu Tai Chi Magazine is a great publication and uh, we really enjoy collaborating with them. Also, if you want to know more about the Honga style and just our history, and if you have Amazon Prime and you're at home right now, I just saw that they have a very classic Kung Fu film called The Magnificent Butcher starring the great Samo Hung as our great, great grandmaster, Lam Sai Wing. Also, I just wanted to add that for uh, students that are enrolled at our studio, feel free to send me any videos of you practicing at home. You have quite a few techniques and things to work on. So if you have any questions, send me a video. I'll be happy to respond and give you some tips on what you need to fine tune as we close this week. And uh, we'll just move forward from there. Thank you.